Hey folks, everything new under the sun. A little uh, solar off-grid uh, look and update. Uh, I had installed these uh, breakers. Now this is a 300 amp, uh, no-name waterproof breaker off Amazon. And I think they were uh, maybe 20 bucks. Uh, I, I'm probably going to be corrected uh, if I go back and look at the, the value of it. Anyways, uh, what was happening was I was pulling about 100 amps, maybe 120 amps uh, through this, and it was burning to the touch. If I put my fingers on the side, um, I could almost not hold my fingers there when it was drying, uh, you know, less than 150 amps. Uh, and uh, they, they were also tripping at well less than 300 amps as labeled on the front, right? Um, so what I did was I went ahead and I replaced one of them with this uh, T Tokas uh, breaker. Now you can see the differences here. Um, see the size of the lug there? It's a completely different size if I can do this without touching any contacts. The size of the lug is uh, completely different. Way bigger on the, the Tokas breaker. Uh, notice the Tokas breaker is also labeled 200 amp and uh, by the way this cost $50. I think it was $54 plus tax. So probably at least double the cost of this um, this no-name 300 amp circuit breaker. And uh, through experience I will tell you, um, by the way, this does not get hot. I can touch this all day long and uh, this does not get hot under load. Um, so I have one on each side for positive and negative. Um, but I will say do not do what I do. Do not cheap out. Get yourself good quality breakers. Um, you know, even at uh, less amperage, uh, this handles way more uh, current, does not get hot, and is likely to trip at the correct time, whereas these ones prematurely chip. So I don't know what these are good for, realistically, even though it says 300 amps, but uh, it's probably only good for 100 amps. So spend the money, get uh, a proper breaker, um, and in this case, this T-Tokas one off Amazon, uh, about, again, about twice the price of, of these guys, um, is far larger lugs, does not get hot with current draw, and overall, uh, you know, it's uh, the old story, uh, you get what you pay for, um, so get, get the good quality stuff uh, to begin with. So, otherwise, my uh, 15 kilowatt hour uh, battery bank is working very well, and of course, uh, uh, again, a little update, I'm running uh, a dual uh, 3 kilowatt uh, EG4 electronics uh, inverters, uh, for in uh, 120 240 uh, split mode works great. They run my hot water heater um, and it's off grid. I've got the, the small uh, sub panel there uh, running in most of the circuits in my house off these units. These have been running for uh, I would say two straight years now. I think more than that. Uh, f these these units have been absolutely flawless. Um, I have had troubles with my uh, my my Dally BMS. It has uh, been cutting out for some reason. I think I have balancing issues, but I do have a, a DALI balancer which um, I hope to connect up uh, in the next couple of weeks here um, to help balance the, the pack because when the battery gets low, the voltages uh, get uh, drop quite a bit and uh, then I start seeing the imbalance occurring. Um, and uh, so anyways, as I say, you get what you pay for, um, buy quality stuff, you'll save a lot of hassle, you, this is a potentially a fire hazard too with how hot it was getting and uh, you know the difference in quality is massive. You can just see the size of the lugs there. So thanks for watching. I'll leave there. We'll see you in the next video.